I have a little mini, but I call her Min's. And I really, I named her Minnie and then I really didn't like the name, but so I call her Min's. But those are her, her two babies. Milton is the father, tiny little Milton. They're both girls. I don't know if they're long or short coats because daddy is a long coat and she carries the long coat jean. So we'll see what happens. But on the right, there's the black and tan and white. And on the left, she is a chocolate and tan and white. And they're gonna be really gorgeous. Hopefully they're gonna have nice big eyes like mama. They're gonna have nice big eyes like you, huh? Oops, I get a little teary. You had a long night last night, didn't you? <gasps> yes, you did. Let me get back so you see how cute, so everybody can see how cute you are. We gotta see how cute you are. Mm -hmm. She just, this is her first litter, and she just like, didn't say a peep. It took her one hour to have both babies. I went from two C-sections two in a row to two dream litters in a row even though I almost missed her because she, I always keep my eyes on them, but you know, I do have to sleep. So I had her in a little playpen and she gave me no signs of being in labor. And I went to bed and then a few hours later, I woke up to go to the bathroom and then I walked by her little playpen and I looked at her to make sure she wasn't panting or anything. And she wasn't, and I was on my way back to bed and I said, hold up, she wasn't acting crazy because she is a little psych. Yeah, you're just like a little psych. She goes crazy for me all the time, right? And so she wasn't. And I said, oh, something's up. Even though, you know, I was tired and I almost didn't even think of it. So I came back and I said, let me see if she, what she's doing. Turn the light on, brighter light on. And there she is, she's contracting. I was like, oh my God. I almost went to bed and she was contracting. First time mom, I could have woke up to two dead puppies. I could have woke up to, you know, a lot of times because I've been doing this for over 30 years. And before I started constantly being there, I would learn the hard way that you come back after, you know, going to bed and letting them have babies without you or having a job, God forbid. But um, you come back and she... They, what they do is they spit them out, especially first-time moms, and they just leave them there. I came back to sacks. One time there was six sacks. All babies were in the sacks, and they were all dead. She didn't break a single sack. Another time, and this has happened several times, actually, where they just didn't break the sack until after the puppy died, and then they decide, you know, 10 minutes later because they're exhausted. They, you know, they don't know. They have the baby. And then 10 minutes later, they're like, you know, they're licking it. And then there's like, oh, let me break this sack. And then they break the sack and the puppy's dead. And the poor mama has a dead puppy or all dead puppies. So that could have happened to these guys. But my intuition <sighs> worked. But anyhow, I'm going to go. And these guys will be on my website and they will be available. I weighed them last night. They're predicting to weigh right under four pounds. So I'm gonna say 4.0 right now. We'll see what happens as they mature. And they, they got beautiful faces, but they're very busy right now. So we'll have to show the faces next week.